It's quite obvious and in no way a secret that in the film Prometheus, Meredith Vickers, daughter of Sir Peter Wayland, was less than enthused about the whole idea of the Prometheus expedition. Her attitude towards it mirrored that of her stance on her father. Meredith saw the voyage as nothing more than a desperate old man seeking the fountain of youth, but her disdain may have just gone a little further than just petty squabbling, all the way to full-blown sabotage, however in a subtle way. Sean Fifield was a geologist uh, selected to be part of the crew of the Prometheus on its mission to LV-223, a mission that ultimately was Peter Whelan's uh, personal voyage to meet the engineers and obtain from them an extension to his ever-fading lifespan. Whilst Fifield was part of the crew, he wasn't always going to be. It actually turns out that a separate man by the name of Jay Eager under serial number SG Dash 6257 was supposed to originally be taking part in the mission. And only four days before the launch of the ship, for unknown reasons, he was replaced with Sean Firefield. While we don't know uh, all that much about the other geologist or the circumstances that resulted in the replacement of the ship's geologist, we do know that Vickers made the call. And on top of that, we know that the decision made by her placed a man with questionable mental and emotional integrity into a vital and very important role in the Prometheus expedition. It's quite possible that Vickers uh, knew the specifics of Fifield's downfalls, as in his written work record, he was stated to be uh, or have scored terribly on his mental and psychological and cognitive uh, evaluations, as well as being described as an abrasive and at best difficult person to engage with by his previous co-workers. It's possible that Vickers replaced their previous geologist with Firefield, knowing that he would cause friction and trouble during the proceedings of the mission. On top of Firefield, Vickers also chose Milburn specifically for the Prometheus mission, and again for more than questionable reasons. Milburn, prior to the events of Prometheus, was an esteemed scientist in the field of biology. However, the fact still remained that Milburn had never actually worked in the field. Yes, the truth of the situation is that the Prometheus mission was Milburn's first out of the lab and field experience. This is a strange choice for personnel on a mission with such gravity tied to it. The Prometheus mission is tasked with uncovering the origins of humanity, and so coming to answer some of the biggest questions that have ever plagued our basic human con conception of the universe. And so it would go to suggest that people that are involved or selected to be a part of the mission would have to be Earth's best and brightest. However, in at least a few cases, this seemed to not at all be the case. With Vickers controlling the roster of the employees on the mission, it seems to point towards Meredith purposefully sabotaging the mission's efforts, by placing more than questionable staff members within it. With her attitude towards her father and the mission seen throughout the film, I don't think it's a far stretch that Vickers could adjust the crew of the ship in order to lead it to a less than desirable result for the mission goals, and even more to disappoint her father and bring an end to his ultimate dream and reign over the company that she wanted to take control of. But what do you all think? Do you think Vickers just made some questionable employment choices? Or was there a more sinister intent to her decisions? Let me know in the comments and we can talk it over. Before I go, I just wanted to let you guys know about the merch store called Acheron's Colonial Marketplace. Here, you can pick up a variety of Acheron and Alien themed merch from three distinct product lines, including shirts, hoodies, mugs, blankets, stickers, bags, and even phone cases. So if you want to support the channel and look good doing it, pick up some Acheron merch. But what other videos would you guys like to see? If you have any ideas or have any questions you would like answered, please meet me down in the comments. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and go check out Project Acheron on Twitter and Discord. If you want to support me further, you can become a patron where you can get access to early and behind the scenes content, the monthly and alien day giveaways, as well as the patron only engraved set of items. I hope you guys did enjoy the video and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. 
Until then, this is Project Acheron, signing off.